This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. the Dallas Cowboys Family Feud Specials. Introducing the footballers, Danny White, Tony Dorsett, Harvey Martin, Charlie Waters, and Larry Cole, ready for action. And the cheerleaders, Terry Richardson, Suzette Schultz-Derrick, Jeannie Monfort, Kim Kilway, and Stephanie Schultz. On your marks, let's start the Dallas Cowboys Family Feud Specials. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Got one game on you now. Day two of our extravaganza, and the cheerleaders are one game up. They're both playing for charities. Gentlemen have told me personally that that was the last game the women will win. I do not believe that. I think it's mere bravado. But I didn't tell them. <clears throat> okay, welcome them. They're the champs of the moment. It's the best out of five series. The champs, the cheerleaders, right here. <laughs> you are playing for? We're playing for the Girls Club of America. And you have won so far $5,454. Yes, isn't that great? All right. Let me meet all the nice ladies, please. Well, my name is Terry Richardson. I'm, in, I'm presently in school to obtain my real estate license. Oh, I've got one on me. I'll give it to you later, darling. <laughs> <laughs> this is Suzette Schultz. She's a nursing student and a newlywed. Okay. They don't go together, by the way, do they? <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> He's a doctor. Well, I've been dating a, new, a nursing student. I don't want to naturally go into marriage just because those two run together. Let's carry on here. Jenny Monfort. She's a flight attendant. Is she with me? Yes, she is. Kim Kilway, she's a dance major at uh, North Texas State University. Uh, I danced with a major once, big tall friend. <laughs> and? Stephanie Schultz, who's Suzette's sister, is also a nursing student. Okay. Hi, Richard. We welcome you here, and you played very, you. very well. You're Thank, really you. Thank you. Thank you. Very proud of you. Thank you. Now, you heard, though, Fitz Howard came up and said, the guys said, that's it, you're not going to win anymore. Well, they say that all the time. But Do they really? Right. right. Make them feel at home here. The Cowboys! All right! You're going to do it, right? You bet. Yeah. Your charity, by the way, is the Boys Town. Is that right? Boys Clubs. Boys, Boys Clubs. Clubs of America. And you've got $62. Not a lot of money, gentlemen, so we need... <laughs> I mean, they're over $5,000 here. Let's meet the uh, terrible quartet. All right, we've got uh, running back Tony Dorsett. How you doing, Richard? Defensive end Harvey Martin. Oh, Richard. <laughs> Strong safety Charlie Waters. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. And defensive tackle, Larry Cole. You got it. And Larry thought he was in trouble, <laughs> yeah. You played very well the last game we played here. That was at $62, wasn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. why we got him down there. He gets all the toughest, toughest questions Because that's a hard position That's there. the toughest position, right? Come on, now. let's do it. Let's play all the right. feud. Let's go! <laughs> 100 people surveyed. Top five answers are on the board. You've got to try and find the most popular answer. And here's the question. Tell me something a husband asks his wife to carry in her purse for him. Yeah. His wallet. Wallet, said Danny. Wallet. Okay. Three answers will beat that, Terry. His keys. His keys. Right? Yeah. You want to play? play? We're going to play. play. We want to play. Are you married, by the way? Yes, I am. Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. This, didn't it start this way, the last, first game you yes, played? You did. gave me number one. Hi, sweetie. Mm, hello. Tell Butch I said hi. Okay, I will. That's her new husband. So my husband asked his wife to carry in her purse for him. A comb. A comb. Any of our 100 people say comb? They did. Oh, first strike. Three strikes and. Hello. 
Hello. Who'd you fly for? Brandon. Brandon? Mm -hmm. I'm going to hop on one of those planes immediately. Mm -hmm. Do we land here in L.A.? Yes. Do you fly into mm -hmm. Yeah. Where do they go? All over the world? Yes. Oh, we fly a lot in the middle states, you know, a lot in Texas. And Maybe I like move there. Florida and New York. <laughs> okay, I will move there then. Okay. Florida and New York. Got an apartment in both places. Uh, we tell fly me. international too, by the way. Oh, and I live in Paris. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> tell me something your husband asked his wife to carry in her purse for him. I would say glasses. Glasses, all right. Good. Yeah, looking to see glasses. Did you do the love boat? Yes, I did. Was mm -hmm. it fun? It was a blast. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I did one with them. They're all very nice. Oh, aren't, aren't they, they wonderful? Yeah. Which one did you do? I mean, has it been on already? Well, it, we, um, it was shown November the 10th, and then it was shown again recently about a month ago. Yeah. yeah it was great. Did a lot of fan mail from it? Well, yeah, a little. <laughs> did you play yourself? Um, no, I played um, a girl named Lisa across from Bill Daly. Oh, yeah. He's a nice guy. Oh, he's wonderful. But wonderful. Gavin and everybody, they're all very oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm Super. glad you had a good time. I've got a boat. Well, I'll talk to you about that later. Uh, <laughs> some of the husbands asked the wives to carry in her purse for them. What about a checkbook? Would that be the same as wallet? Ooh, that wouldn't be the same checkbook? as wallet, would it? Yeah. Good. Good. Checkbook! Good. 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 One more. You've got a big, big start in this game because you'll have a clean sweep. Tell me something my husband asked his wife to carry in her purse for him. A handkerchief. Handkerchief. But say you got it all. Handkerchief. Not there. Okay, just one answer left, Terry. Just one answer left. Hmm. I'm trying to think of it. Look, the color of those nails, huh? That's fuchsia. That's beautiful. Is, it, is that what it is? It's beautiful. It's just color. hot pink. I like that. Thank you. You can borrow it. Well, thank you. <laughs> I usually just use the clear, unless I'm going to a party. <laughs> what do you think? What's, tell me the question. Husband again. asked his wife uh, to carry in her purse for him. Let me see, Richard. Um, a ring. A ring? Yes. Okay, wouldn't put it on his finger, it'd be too easy. Yeah. Yeah. The ring is there, you've got it all. If not, gentlemen, get ready to steal. Ring! Chance for you to get $56 and show us that you meant what you said. What do you think? I think we're going to go with cigarettes or Sounds cigars. Sounds like a winner to me. Cigarettes up there, you get the $56. If not, the ladies get it. Cigarettes! Yeah. They're on the board, and we will return. Here's today's Family Feud survey question. Can you guess the top five answers? Stick around for the results right after this. Whopper, Whopper, build your Whopper. Barbecue, bacon, more cheese, no shocker. However you like to top your Whopper, you know what we'll say. And BK, have it your way. garden our cheese will make you melt and leave you bubbling with joy best part is it keeps coming till you say when olive garden we're all family here with no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees banking with capital one is the easiest decision in the history of decisions <laughs> even easier than this <laughs> You're in. Oh, cool. Yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? 
At Dots, an ordinary pretzel just isn't enough. So they add savory seasoning and tempting buttery flavor into every delicious twist. Now that's enough to make you build an all-pretzel pantry with a biometric security system. Dots, sensationally seasoned pretzels. Here's today's survey question and the top five answers. How many did you get? Stay tuned for more Feud right here on Family Feud Classic. Okay, $56 for the gentleman there on the board. The ladies have nothing. Come on, please. <laughs> One hundred people survey, top five answers on the board. The question is, name something that people shake sand out of at the beach. Yes. A beach towel. A towel. What are you gonna do? Y'all want to play? That's right. We want to play. We're gonna play. Oh. Go ahead. All right, all right. I thought football players had quick hands. These girls are dynamite. That was easy for me. I just got back from Hawaii. Ah, <laughs> Something people shake sand out of at the beach. I would say they're bathing suits. Good. Bathing suits? Yeah. What about shoes? Shoes? Doesn't that sound like a goodie? Shoes! Hey. $20. Socks. Socks. Yes. All right. Good. good answer, sir. Socks there. You're rolling along. Socks. First strike. Oh. Harry? It's my turn again? Yeah. Okay. Sort of works out. I go through <laughs> four people and I come so back quick. to you. Yeah. I would say a beach blanket. But you a blanket? Like yes. Oh. Okay. 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 100 people say a blanket. Forget, do not let the thing that occurred the last time. Those rotters stole money, didn't they? Just one answer left. Something people shake sand out of the beach. Their hair. Their hair. Oh, get one! Get one! Very easy for Charles Nelson Riley. Hair's there. You got it all. It's not second strike. Hair! Oh. Not that. Come on, A beach raft. A raft. A raft. A raft. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if Raft is there, you've got all the money, clean sweep. If not, the Cowboys got a chance to steal. A Raft! <laughs> not there. Gentlemen, $83 up there. Give you a big, big lead in the game. Give me the right answer. <laughs> Something people shirt, shake sand out of at the shirt, beach. Shirt, shirt, shirt. I guess we're going to go. Shirt, shirt, shirt. <laughs> They're putting the pressure on me now. We're going to go with a shirt or a top. Shirt. Sure. Sure. What the hell do you do over there, guy? <laughs> Come back here, you always just have one answer. Uh, business, business. Well, they keep coming up with all our answers. Oh, all right. Take, take a look. Little shirt is up there. You get the $83 and a big lead in the game. If it's not there, cheerleaders get the $83. Shirt! <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Number five. Little Dollins are in the lead, $83, and the gentleman on the board with 56. I need you, are they? He didn't kiss your hand this time. I know. No, That's because wrong. you want all the money. You remember? Is that yeah, right? he's here as a killer. <laughs> Just one hand will be suffice. Now, the dollar values are double. Don't forget, the first of you to get to 300 points will play for $5,000 for your charity. But this question, we asked 100 women, no men. We said, what invention of the 20th century are you most thankful for? Yeah. Car. Car, he said, a car. Yeah. One answer, Jimmy, will beat it. Remember, we asked 100 women, no men. We said, what invention of the 20th century are you most thankful for? What do you think? Oh, I I just don't know. She doesn't know. I'm blank. <laughs> now you got control. Are you going to play or pass? Yeah. We got to play. We got to play. Of course you play. Play? Yeah. We got to play. They're going to play me. Right. How you doing today, Charlie? I'm good, Richard. OK. Real good. 100 women now. We said, what invention of the 20th century are you most thankful for? 
a automatic dishwasher. Okay, a dishwasher. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 What do you think? I think it should be a washer. I do indeed. I think it's a good answer. Washer. Yeah. yeah. Who answers left? I have an electric range or stove. Okay, I like the sound of that, Danny. Stove! Yeah! <laughs> one more clean sweep right. for all the money. Tony, what invention of the 20th century are you most thankful for? Remember, we asked 100 women. Ooh, I don't think they like to sweep too much. I'll say a vacuum cleaner. Sounds like a winner to me. And if a vacuum's up there, you got it all in the big lead in the game. Vacuum! <laughs> Not there. That was a good answer. First strike. What do you think, Harvey? Well, since so this is women, 20th century. Invention, thankful. <laughs> it all, all adds up, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, I'll say a bra. A bra? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's here for you. It's a great answer. It's, yeah, you know, I mean, That's it's right. women, you know. French invention, uh, Henri Bra. You take a look. <laughs> I swear, I, I wish you were there, because it's a great answer, isn't it? The 20th century bra! Right there. <laughs> Charlie? Richard? Well, our invention of the 20th century, apart from the bra, are you most thankful for? Remember, 100 women answered. One answer left. Television set. TV. Something to do during the daytime. The TV's there. You got it all. If not, ladies, get ready to steal TV. Yeah! We did it. Yeah! We did it. The Cowboys, 208. Here, ladies, 83. Let's go. Come on, Jolly. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a dessert you see on practically every restaurant. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Oh. What's that? Three answers will be, Charlie. Pie. Pie. Oh. Yeah. We got to play, Richard. Four answers. Play. All right, well done, John. Excellent. The dessert you see on practically every restaurant menu. Ice cream. You like it? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. A little break, training, and have ice cream. <laughs> and he's plotting the play. <laughs> I think we should break to the left. Make a diamond you, you, pattern. I don't, know any, I you, don't know any terms at all in football. I really don't. What are those numbers they got? I'm having a hard time coming up with terms right now myself. Oh, <laughs> what are those numbers they yell out? Are they plays? Mm -hmm. I mean, if they yell out, doesn't some guy go nine, eight, seven? Is that you? Yes, that's me. <laughs> so is it? Yeah. yeah, in the huddle. Right. Now, are they all plays? Like, give me one call that you might Spread get. orange, right tight, fullback, short divide, array 15. Yeah. My very words. <laughs> now, that, that's a play that that's they would all know instantly? You bet, yeah. The offensive, me and Tony, when those guys down there wouldn't know. They wouldn't know? They wouldn't know, no. Why, too much ice They're, cream? They play on the other side of the line, see? Oh. They're just trying to hit. They, they just destroy, in other yeah, words. Their job, to destroy. Okay, well, let's uh, go for an orange 15, then, and see if it deserts on <laughs> practically every restaurant menu. How about pudding? Pudding, all righty. Pudding is there. You will play for the $5,000. If not, first strike. Pudding! Yeah, they did it. It shows they watch television, see, because they remember Bill Cosby. I love Jello Pudding. <laughs> You've got $83 this time. Now the guys are going to go for the $5,000. You root them on, they get it for you. All right, I'll need two people to play for fast money. Who's going to play? Let's go, come on. Who's first? 
Tony and Danny are going for five thousand dollars. Right after we watch this. Okay, okay, okay. Class, welcome to Family Feud's Portrait Pointers. First pointer, make sure your shot is action-packed. Show off your best side. If someone, ah, if someone passes out during the shoot, please prop them up. Conga lines are always fun. Be sophisticated when hiding wrinkles. And above all, remember the deodorant. Where can I get more Family Feud Portrait Pointers? On Family Feud Classic, available 24 hours a day. Watch now. We got Danny off stage, earphones on. Boys, clubs of America, beware, because these young men want to take $5,000 from us, right? Definitely. Going to do it? We're going to do it. We wish you luck. 15 seconds, please. <laughs> One measurement of a distance is an inch, name another. Mile. Away parents reward children. Uh, allowance. How late you stay up on New Year's Eve? Uh, after 12. One. Something you do only on sunny days. I go to the beach. Something people pawn. Pawn? Watch. Turn around. Did very well. Measurement of distance is an inch. Name another. You said mile. Survey said thirty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. The way parents reward children. Mine moved away from me, but you said allowance. Survey said. Thirteen. Yeah. How late do you stay up on New Year's Eve? You said one o'clock. Because you have to get up for the game the next day. That's right. Sure. A Rose Bowl job. One kids, one of the kids is New Year's. That's okay. it. No. Survey said. Twenty-two. Yeah. Something you do only on sunny days. You said go to the beach. My question to you is why? You're so brown anyway. <laughs> I'm not brown enough, Richard. <laughs> Survey said. Look at the pretty girl. You got it. Oh, 101. Something people pawn. Don't is that a watch? And the survey said. Look at yeah. it. Yeah. Right next to Harvey. Okay, Danny, let's go. I'm gonna ask the same questions I asked Tony. You can't duplicate his answers. If you do, you hear this. I say try again, give me another answer, okay? Right. Yeah, of course, <laughs> right. I was planning uh, R and J team, but I've decided to abandon it. This man's gone to sleep. 
51 points on the money. We wish you luck. Please remind everyone the dynamite answers Tony gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. One measurement of distance is an inch. Name another. A mile. Try again. Uh, hundred, uh, four, quarter mile. A way parents reward children. With money. Try again. Uh, treats. How, uh, how late you stay up on New Year's Eve. One o'clock. Try again. Two o'clock. Something you do only on sunny days. Uh, go skiing. Something people pawn. <laughs> Let him finish. Something people pawn. Uh, rings. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a foot. Can I say a foot? Well, we'll take a look. Yeah. Measurement of distance is an inch. Name another. You said hundred, a thousand, a uh, quarter of a mile. <laughs> so they said zero. Oh. Mile was the number one answer. The way the parents reward children, you said? Treats. Survey said? Three. Money and allowance, the number one answer. You stay up, how late do you stay up New Year's Eve? You said? 2 a.m., number one answer. 48 points for the money. Survey said? 25. Something you do only on sunny days, you said? Ski, I assume you meant water ski, did you not? Well, I meant swimming, but I said ski. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, water skiing is... Uh... <laughs> You've been wearing a helmet. <laughs> Survey said? Zero. Sunbathe was the number one answer. And then something people pawn. You said rings. 23 points for the money. Number one answer was watch. Let's hope it's there. Survey said. The top answer is on the board. See if you got it when we return. Anthony, come on over here. This is Anthony Dorsett, and he's my pal. Now, the score is one each, right? One for the Cowboys, one for the cheerleaders, right? Yeah. Good. And they'll be back tomorrow to play. Who are you rooting for? Your dad? <laughs> Your daddy? <laughs> Say bye-bye. We'll see you here on the feud. Say that for me. Bye-bye. We'll see? see you here on the feud. Then make a sign like that. <laughs> that means I love you.
This is Gene Woods speaking for Family Feud. I'm Mark Goodson, Bill.